Hello everyone, welcome back to our series on profiling Go code. In today's episode, we're going to take a deep dive into the profile preprof UI, an essential tool for understanding the performance of your Go applications. We'll explore various aspects of the UI. So let's get started. To access the pprof interactive UI, we'll first need to call it from the CLI tool. Before you get started, you'll need to install the graph viz tool prior to accessing the UI. Instructions for installing graph viz are linked in the description. Make sure you have graph viz installed as it is required to visualize the UI properly. We'll call the UI using the HTTP flag with a port specified that we want the UI to run on. Oh, and there's one more crucial detail. We have to add the sampling rate to the UI. Once we've set everything up, the first view we encounter in the pprof UI is called the call graph. This view shows the call stack of the program. Here's what you need to know. Red nodes represent functions that have the largest cumulative CPU footprint. Large sizes indicate that the functions have the largest flat CPU footprint. Functions with the inline marker have been inlined by the compiler, and the lines between the nodes indicate which functions call other functions. The call graph view can also display multiple Go routines. Understanding how different Go routines interact is essential for optimizing your Go code. In our program, we should see two Go routines, the main Go routine and the Go runtime. The Go runtime is responsible for garbage collection and other OS level tasks. Up next, we have the original flame graph. The Y axis represents the stack depth and the X axis shows CPU usage. The width of each bar indicates the amount of time spent on that function and the color of that bar, bar corresponds to the function stack. pprof has an extension to the flame graph. It's denoted in the menu with a new label. This graph extends the functionality of the flame graph and provides more detail when you click on the function. If there's an absence of the border between two functions, you can tell that it was inlined by the compiler. Clicking on the function will zoom in on that function's unique flame graph. Another view you'll find is peak. It is a text-based version of the flame graph. Last but not least, we have a helpful source view. This view allows you to explore the source code of your program. You can click on functions to dig deeper and gather more details about their performance characteristics. This view is incredibly useful for understanding the performance of your code as it will show you the exact line of code that were being executed when the profile was taken. There, if there are any bottlenecks to your code, this view will help you identify them. So that's a wrap for the exploration of our pprof UI. Profiling Go code is a crucial step to optimize your application. And pprof is an accessible and powerful tool. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more in-depth software tutorials. If you have any questions or topics you'd like to cover in further videos, please leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in and remember, Keep profiling and improving your Go code. And until next time, happy coding.